Another project pulling up. What's going on now? What's going on, man? Nice to meet you, man. Jay. Sprayway. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You say what? Jay, well, I'm a Jesus man. Okay, yeah, Jay. yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was. Uh, Hell yeah, Jesus. man. Finally made it down after all the. First, I told you the uh, the diesel broke down on me. Yeah. The U-Haul, it wouldn't fit. It was too long. Uh -huh. That was on Monday. Okay. And now I finally got it. I went rented a truck. I'm like, man, I got to make it down there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of folks be playing. Somebody, they want some work done, though. But I kind of figured you were serious, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, I was, I was yeah. hitting you up on YouTube, and I started getting some, uh, like, spam messages. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Then I reached out on email. I was like, man, finally. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to hear from, like, two different things before. Uh, before you yeah, before said to go. Like, yeah, before nobody was trying to mess with me. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of folks be trying to hit me up for work. But and you I got you, you got to really be lucky, though, because I might pick a comment somebody might say they need some work done i say email me then i take my email but if they serious you know i feel like they're serious i'm gonna take it and i seen you did that one obs i'm like man i'd love for yeah. you to do this obs yeah i, I just got me an obs is that yours? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i ain't even posted the video yet though <laughs> yeah how long you been having this so i had it for like three years and this guy was supposed to paint it for me all he did was that and mm -hmm. uh he moved the tailgate okay? He got real sick or something, but uh -huh. I, I went ahead and ordered the paint because, you know, he said he's going to do it for me. Yeah. So I got, like, the fast activator, the slow yeah. activator because it was cold and then it got warm. But Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I see it. In case he said that was rusted out up there. Mm -hmm. That's, like, that paintable bumper, like, Southern Chevy yeah. had. I got uh, a couple of them. I think they're both good. These right here. Uh -huh. Under piece. And then that valence just goes underneath of it. Okay. And, uh. Oh, it had Something the little like visor thing. What's that, the uh, rain the guard little, on it? Yeah. I'd rather get the end channel one so you ain't got to worry about that later on. Where did this truck came from? Uh, Owensboro, I think. That's what I bought uh, it off a dude in Owensboro, but he said he already bought it like. It had rust like yeah, that. Yeah, huh? oh yeah. But it didn't get Y'all get uh, snow up there? Man, a not lot? this year. We used to get uh, a lot. Okay. I think we got maybe two or three good snows, like two or three inches, but that's it. We used to get them real bad. I'm glad that you know how them trucks you still got it like the I'm glad they already had that taken off uh, yeah <laughs> the molding or whatever uh -huh. I like it but it's already had it taken off so I was like I'm just gonna make it like sleek you know what I mean yeah okay we got the paint you going with the slick base black cherry pearl base coat yeah hey you open it up like the arch nah I ain't looked at him oh uh, okay and then I got all kinds of this stuff too. Oh, this is little boats I was telling you about, like miscellaneous boats I got for like the, that's for the grill and the valence, those little seven millimeters. Mm -hmm. And dude, had it so long, like I ordered some the fast, fast and then there's some slow in there too. You got a little everything, though. Huh? Yeah, and like, you got you got more use out of it than me, you know what I mean? I don't Reducing. know what none of that is. <laughs> fast. That's for the, fast. fast to be good for a time like today. Oh, okay, when it's yeah. kind of like cold. Yeah, like. And then he, I ordered the slow. But see, anything you don't use, man, you can keep because, I, like I said, I ain't got no use for it. Yeah, you got a lot of reducing. And then he uh, told me to order some. Uh, I seen you had some. Uh, oh, damn. And what uh, was it? This one I here. seen the picture. Oh, that's a primer. That really is. A primer? Primer, yeah. Is that painting, boys? Oh, I guess it felt like mush in there. You had, some, you had something else I seen on the. Uh, man, what was it? I seen it on the. You can pull out the stuff if you want. Uh, what was that? Uh, the picture you sent. There was a one that it was, was kind of weird from the rest of them. Maybe this one right here. Oh, look. And I was going to ask you, that one yeah. spelled different. You just noticed that? Yeah. They used to spell their name like that. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. damn, they gave me yeah, the old stuff. Older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some but yeah, flow enhancer. That's what I was talking about. And he'd always be like, well, you need to order this now because it's cold. You need to order this now because yeah. it's hot. I was like, damn, when are you going to paint it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I can't I'll open it up for you if you just want to Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, the camera. That's a nice little camera. <laughs> oh, it's a GoPro. Yeah, these things, 
Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Black cherry. Black cherry looks nice though. And I got it like because you, know you ain't never opened this. No, I swear. And this is the first car I'll ever have painted too, like legit. Oh, damn, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, but you can see the. You can see it. Oh, damn. Let me pull out the light. Oh, yeah, it's got a little, like, uh, it's kind of sh shiny, too. Like, the, what'd yeah. you call it? Kind of flaky looking. Mm -hmm. Hell, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to look good. Like See, and I, I got that because I was like, well, if I ain't going to do the jams, at least it'll be close. But now I'm going to go ahead and do the jams, too. Do the jams, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know why folks don't want to do the jams. I guess, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That look good. A lot of still at the bottom. See, and I had it sitting for so long, I was like, man, I hope paint don't go bad. Oh, yeah, that's going to look nice. The uh, only thing really go bad, you let it sit long, I think uh, epoxy primer, because it be so thick, man. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. But this is the prank we're going with, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir. For all the videos. Can't wait. You ain't got no YouTube channel though. Nah, I got I do got one, but I ain't got nothing on there. It's okay. just a little little videos, little walk around videos. I'd be kind of nervous to see myself on a on a TV. <laughs> yeah. And tell everybody how you got in touch with me. Through email, through YouTube. First it was YouTube. Yeah, first it was YouTube, then we got email, and yeah. then we linked up and yeah. we made it happen. We came down here. Yeah. Okay. But it was nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate that. Okay. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I know you're going to put your touch on it. Oh, ain't no doubt. <laughs>
those arrows welded up. Now, before I carry on, I'm going to do the SS wing. But that's going to be a separate video. And it's going to be already out before I even do this video. So if y'all want to see how I've done it, check the playlist out. And it should be popping up. But I'll cut you back on once I finish it. It's not going to be nothing but a few seconds, though. I done started to work on the OBS now. I've been filling in these holes for the stakes, the stake holes. It was awesome, some holes been drilled along the top of the bed. Now I'm finna put the SS wing on. I figured I'd put that on before I start doing some body filler, body work, because I gotta mold it in. And it's gonna, there's some end pockets go here, where some end caps go here. And I'm gonna mold it in so it look like one piece. I done did it before. I had a video down in the description. It'll also be popping up. But let me get the wing and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We'll take it up on this little stand here and open it up. If anybody looking for a, a wing like this here, I can get you one. Just let me know in the comment section. I can list it on my website. It's gonna be a fiberglass wing because a lot of them ain't fiberglass. I like the fiberglass one so I could mold it onto the vehicle so it'll look like it's one piece. Here's the SS wing. They don't never fit right, so you're gonna be doing some modding to get it to fit right, especially trying to mold it on. Cause I think this one here, I don't know if this one here for uh, an MBS, I'm not sure, but you could use either one, OBS one or MBS. Cause both of them you're gonna have to do some mods, cutting and more fiberglass. Get the end pieces. You can see right there. The end piece don't look nothing like how it should look. What's all that? I'm gonna have to cut all this off. But the centerpiece, it fit a lot better than that last one I did. I'm still gonna have to do some cutting because I'm gonna have to lift this up, this end piece up to so the tail lights can go in. So. to fill all that in with fiberglass on both ends you can see it's already cracked just got to put our thinking cap on same way with this side but it got to be lifted up so the tail lights can go in it can't be down like this here Let me get some tape, then I can start marking it out with what I need to cut.
Here's the final results. Still flashing off. Right here where you see the body filler outline. It's gonna be all right once you start blocking it for the wet sand. It's just that body filler is period, so it soaks up a lot of silla. But all that can be blocked flat. I'm gonna let it dry off. Then I'll put the tail back on. I meant the tailgate back on and give you another look at it. Let me take it out here and show you the uh, end caps. like we never left SS wing installed if you want to see how I done it check the playlist out also be down in the description and it should be popping up since we got that taken care of I also did the body work on the tailgate as well where I did the SS wing but I still got to do the road pan body work but since it's been out here in the weather it's done started surface rusting so I'm gonna take the DA and clean that back up. Then I'm gonna sand all this down, get this bed line up here. Probably use some 60 grit just to sand it down smooth. Then I'll put some fiberglass filler over all my repairs up here. The areas that I welded in. Which I done did this one back here. So let me take care of that. the results stake holes welded in and by the work roll pan smooth I still got to do some sanding 
my final sand when I wet sand it right before paint. But I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna wait till I finish the cab. Then I sand it all at once. I probably got just as more body work on the cab than I had the bed. I guess I'll go ahead and put the tailgate back on. It's gonna look kinda crazy though. Because it's all black. I was gonna spray a black cilla over this hill, but I decided not to. I might just spray the cilla right before the base coat. But this is it, y'all. Yeah, stay tuned. Gonna get started back on the OBS. Finish up the body work. Got to do the cab now. If you can recall, we did the bed on our last video of the OBS. We did the bed and the SS wing. Y'all want to see how I done it? Check out the description. Should be popping up on this SS wing. The bed is complete, and we got to work our way on around to this cab. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, start removing stuff like the uh, third brake light. Take that off. Also, windshield wipers. Remove the cow. I think that's pretty much it. Guess we'll remove the door handles. Cause you got new ones, we're gonna paint those color match with the truck but this funder here he got a replacement funder it's over there I'll show it to you in a minute this in here it's rusted so we're gonna have to take this funder off and put the I finna say new one it ain't new but put the other one on here it go here I'm gonna have to paint strip it because I'm not sure what kind of paint this is on here and I hate for my paint to react to it See, it's got a lot of runs and everything in it. Then it was painted yellow at one time. So we're going to strip all that paint off. And, um, oh, I got to take the bed off as well. I'm not going to take it off because I'm by myself, but I'm going to take all the uh, bolts off and try to slide it back some so I can start repairing this uh the back side of here because it ain't got no tack wheels in it on both sides so I guess I take the well I start removing all this stuff out first then I take the fun off then we'll go from there
back on the OBS. Just finished up the body work. If y'all want to see how I done that, check the description out. Should be popping up as well. I have all the videos in one playlist of this truck. But I'm finna put some color on it now. It's gonna be the color reveal. I haven't decided how I was gonna paint it because the truck actually too big to paint it inside the shop. So I can walk around it because I gotta paint behind the cab also on the other side of the bed. So I'm gonna paint it in parts. It's going up black uh, cherry pearl. So it shouldn't be no problem painting them parts. Uh, I'm gonna paint the jams first. So I'm gonna have to take the hood off and the doors. So that's what I'm about to do. I need to go find my son so he can help me get this hood off. Should be able to get the doors off by myself. But let me uh, get these doors and this hood off then I'll cut y'all back on. We'll go from there. Three coats of the clear. Black cherry pearl. I think I'm gonna do the truck itself in a different video. Cause I'm gonna have to pull these out, and let these dry overnight before I can pull them out. Then I'll start on the truck tomorrow. Later on tomorrow. But I think it turned out good though. Two stage pearl, base coat, clear coat. Yeah, stay tuned. This is the day after I painted the doors and the hood. While I'm letting this dry, I'm gonna jump on this truck itself. I'm gonna be painting the jams on the truck. And I started to think about, uh, which I know I'm gonna have to paint this from the hill. I ain't gotta worry about this one, this one coming off. I got the one that goes on on the inside. I painted it yesterday. But I was thinking about when I paint the jams here, go ahead and paint the top. So I ain't gotta worry about painting it when I'm doing the uh, actual truck because I gotta paint it in pieces anyway, like I said before. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna clean this up, spray some guide coat up here. 
Then I block sand this with some 320 and spray this at the same time I'm spraying the jams. I think that's the plan. All right, let me clean it up, then we'll get started. Here's three coats of the clear. You can see the pearl a lot better now. With that clear on it. I'm glad I went on and painted this top because it'd be a house trying to paint the top and the sides when you paint the car, especially something this big. Cause I gotta watch myself for getting into the paint when I'm painting the sides, trying to reach over and do the top. I'm gonna let this sit out here overnight. And then in the morning, I put the fender on, install the hood and the doors back on as well. Hopefully we get some sun. I can show you how I look at it in the sun. I just finished painting the jams and the top on the truck. Still got dusted. I had pulled it out this morning trying to let the clear dry up. I painted it yesterday. I painted the doors maybe three days ago. Maybe four. They've been sitting out since then. But while I let this here dry, I uh, also put the fun down as well. But while I let this dry, I'm going to jump on this wiper cow. He want me to make it a smooth wiper cow without the events. He's not going with no AC, so it's not going to interfere with anything. I did something Chevy TV OBS the same way. It's going to go right here. I think this would be a good time to jump on that while I let the clear dry. So we're going to take it inside, come up with a game plan. I always do stuff different. I'm gonna get my fiberglass supplies together, the stuff that I think I might use. All right. Now we gotta come up with a game plan. I wanna keep my mountain holes. It's one here. Also there, there, there. And the ones on the side. Yeah. There and there. But on these middle ones, I'm going to build a uh, fiberglass up. So, what I need to do, I need to build a hole up some flush with this here. And how I'm going to do it, found a tube here. It's about the same size as the hole. So, I'm going to wrap this in tape, masking tape. Then I'm going to put some fiberglass filler in it to make that hole come up to where it need to be flush at. Fiberglass filler there. 
Let me take this off. It's not a game, it's a red thing. Here's three coats of clear. One step closer to getting to the truck itself. Which I'll probably paint the bed at a different time that I paint the cab. Like I've been doing, painting a lot of stuff separate, like the front bumper here. Also the tailgate. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this black chair. But let's get back over here to the fiberglass wiper cow because this is what this video about little trash there yeah stay tuned I try to get it on I'm gonna let it sit out here overnight Take it out in the sun, probably tomorrow. Let the cure on up. But I'm gonna try to get it on. Give you another look at it. Installed on the truck. Trying to round up the rest of the pieces to the puzzle as far as the 97 OBS. I think the only thing I got left now is painting all the uh, plastic pieces. Like this the valence that goes up under the bumper, the grill, the mirrors, this goes up under the fenders. That goes up under the grill there. That's two of them. And I got a few more pieces in the truck. It rained last night, so I didn't want to keep all that out. So let me go, go over here and try to find the rest of the pieces. I think this is all of it. Get it up here, let me show you what it got. I think these the tail light covers. Yeah. He want me to color match these as well. Then we got, I think these, the handles. They're not plastic though, but we still can paint these. Same time we paint the rest of the pieces. As long as I got room in the shop, that'd be my biggest problem. Not have enough room to paint everything. These goes on the doors, the door panels on the inside. You want me to color match that? I think that's it. Uh, hopefully it is, because I hate to paint all these and find something else that need to be painted. And most of it's just gonna need to be scuffed up. Let me see if this here texture, because you want that smooth look. 
No, it's not textured, so that's one good thing. I ain't got to worry about getting that texture out. The only thing I see textured, let me see if these here is, this handle somewhat is. So I might got to prime this just to get it smooth. And the mirrors, the clear flaking. So I might got to prime these or try to feather edge this uh, flake. And then I'm not going to use this in here because it's more work. This in here, better condition. It might need to be primed. Let me get these out the plastic, see if they textured. They look like it's textured, so let me get out the plastic. Yes, yeah, these here got a little texture on it. Now I could just go ahead and shoot it, but I might just uh, shoot some prime on it just to feel that texture up, just to be on the safe side. On these here and the mirrors, I don't see no damage on them. All this could be sanded out. It just that right there, I'm gonna have to feather edge that with some probably 320 to keep from priming it. So these are the only two different pieces that I'm gonna have to prime. That's if I do prime. I just hate to mix up some primer just for these pieces here. But, might as well go ahead and do it. But we'll focus on that on down the line. We're gonna clean up the rest of these dirty pieces. Let's see what we're working with for filling all the chips and uh, filling paint. A little damage there though. can't see it. it's gonna be at the very bottom but I could sand it down but let's get these cleaned up then we'll go from there Three coats of clear. It's been, I guess it's been about four to five minutes since I sprayed the last coat. I think that's the last pieces to the puzzle. All the miscellaneous pieces. In the morning, I start sanding the truck. With sanding the truck, you're ready to paint the truck. Make sure it don't start bridging right here. Check this other side. Gotta get it before it dry. Once it dry, it'll bridge. Here's the basis to the mirror. The mirrors. The handles, tail light covers, I put some tape up under the handle part so it won't bridge, you can see it's lifted up some, here's the mirrors here. Alright y'all stay tuned, we'll get started on the truck in the morning with sanding it.
back on the 97 OBS extended cab. I painted all this here yesterday. Everything dry. I just haven't took it out yet because I'm about to jump on the truck now. I'm about to start wet sanding. I'm gonna take you out here where it's at so we can get started. All right, here's the truck. It's been sitting out. I got a lot of overspray from me painting, flying in the air, coming out the shop. But it'll clean right up. I already done did the roof, as you can see. Also the jams, if I can get this door open. I done did the jams as well. Now we need to wet sand all this primer. If you can recall, I scuffed up the, the paint that was good, the black paint. It's already been scuffed up, but I still got to hit it. Go back over because it got some overspray on it. But we're going to clean everything up first because it's got a lot of leaves and dust and everything else on it. You don't want to start sanding and you got this grit on it because you could scratch up the paint, put some deep scratches in it. So let's clean it up first. Then we'll go from there. I'm also going to sweep out the bed. Got it cleaned up with the help of Mother Nature. It started raining on me, but it didn't get too bad. I was washing it down. She was rinsing it off. But we got it done though. Now I put it in the shop. We'll get ready to start putting some paint on it. Got it cleaned up with the help of Mother Nature. It started raining on me, but it didn't get too bad. I was washing it down. She was rinsing it off. But we got it done, though. Now I put it in the shop. We'll get ready to start putting some paint on it. We in. Let me cut this fan off so you can hit me. Tell you the game plan. All right, this is the game plan here. Let me show you. I'm gonna paint the cab separate than the bed because I don't have enough room to actually uh, get behind the bed like I want to. I could reach back there, try to spread, but I want to be able to get great coverage back there. So my plan is to jack it up. I got the jack here and some jack stands and take the wheels off. That way I can slide the bed back a little bit further so I can get back here a lot better. But I'm going to wait till in the morning and do that. I'm going to try to let all this uh, the water drain and dry off. That's why I had the fans on. And then I come out here first thing in the morning. Start prepping it up. 
See, I got the truck all the way up here. For as I can get it. I ain't got much room, but we're gonna get it done though. Here's all the masking, cab cover. Also put some paper over the gas tank and the muffler. Keep the old spray off it. Inside the bed, I put plastic at the bottom and I came back with some paper at the top. It's a lot easier to tape it up. Also, you ain't gotta worry about that plastic flapping. That's why I got to pull it tight right here. I got the cover hung up so I can spray both sides all at once. I think that's pretty much it. Everything is still wiping down. Be wiping it down with some wax and grease remover. Prep all. Then I'll be ready for the base. It's the base coat. It's the slick base black cherry pearl. Yes, three coats of clear. This video here is gonna be probably it's gonna take me probably three to four days to complete because I gotta let it dry 
somewhat cure up before I be able to put some plastic over it. If I don't let it harden up good enough, that plastic is a trap the chemicals and they start reacting. So we're gonna let it sit out here for probably two days before we start doing anything to it. But I will unmask some areas so it won't breathe like here. Take the tape off. Because if I wait until the clear harden up, it'll peel. It'll appear to clear up. Where the tape line at. Like up in here. I will go ahead and unmask that. But this is what she looked like, y'all. Uh, cut y'all back on in a couple of days. We'll get back started on it. Let me go ahead and unmask this here. Try to stay out the paint. It's not gonna bridge right here because it's a big gap. But right here, it will bridge because the tape's sitting right up a, up against the truck with a metal. So I need to remove this here. All right, I'll cut y'all back on in a couple of days. It's been four days since I painted the truck. I know I said I was going to get back on it with them too, but I got carried away doing another project. But I'm finally back out here. So I know the paint should be good and hard as far as me moving the bed around so I can put the wheels back on so I can pull it out and turn the truck around so the cab will be facing this way. I can have the bed all the way against the door so I can have enough room to maneuver to slide the bed back again so I can paint this area here. But we're back on it. But you can see the gloss still holding up after four days. Let me get these wheels back on so we can pull it out and get back started on it. Shouldn't have that much to do on it because everything Basically painted the top, but this, this back, the bed. Only thing left is the side of the cab and the hood. I got to do the jams, mask the jams off, but that shouldn't take long because it's just two doors.
Is three coats of clear. Got quite a bit of overspray that was in the air. It didn't make it out the booth in time. Landed back in the surface. Well, landed back on the surface. Not sure if you've seen it, but it's a lot of here and there. But it ain't nothing. A cutting buff can't get out. And it's so hot today. As soon as I was spraying it, it was drying before it hit the surface. I was using some slow hardener, but it wasn't really helping. But it sprayed now. I let it sit out here a day. Then I unmasked the bed, slide the bed back up. Unmasked the top. Then I pull it outside, let it cure on up before I start sanding on it before it's cutting buff but she done though y'all get in the comment section let me know what y'all think about it y'all stay tuned I need to go ahead and unmask this here before anything start trying to bridge on me. I hate to pull the clear up, unmasking it. I wanted to bring you in here. I just unmasked everything. It's been about two hours since I sprayed it. I decided to finish unmasking. It's best to go ahead and do that while it's still soft because you don't want to wait until it harden up, then try to unmask it. You'll start pulling the paint up. I also unmasked the bed. Didn't have no problems. I didn't trap no chemicals. Didn't have no reaction or nothing. That's what I was afraid of, but I had let it sit out for four days, so should have been good and somewhat cured up but I want to show you the color match for us painting everything in different pieces so I can call I painted the hood first then I painted the bed and this back side then I came back and painted the cab well I painted the jams before all that I can show you the jams right quick if y'all haven't seen that video, well, I don't want to open it up too far. I might hit the wall, but those the jams there. I also did the wiper cow. I fiberglassed it. Now I pull it out probably tomorrow evening. Let it harden on up. Then I let it probably sit for about a week. Then I saw sanding on it, cutting and buffing. And then I put everything back on, such as I got the uh, tailgate. I painted it 
a while back also and the grill the bumper all that's color match the door handles gotta put all those pieces back on as well but y'all stay tuned this video been long enough already they go all the mask now It's been four days since I painted the truck. I just been letting it sit out here in the shop, letting it harden up before I put the weather stripping and stuff back on. I gotta slide the bed up. But I'ma let it sit probably at least another week. I'ma let it sit out in the sun. So I'ma put the wheels and slide the bed back up. And put the glass back in. And I'll pull it outside then. I guess in a week I'll cut y'all back on. We'll get started on the cutting buff because that's what I'm going to do next. So y'all stay tuned. It's going to be three seconds. The power of video editing. OBS been sitting, I would say, almost two weeks. I've been letting it sit out here while I was doing other things. Letting it clear harden up before I start sanding on it. It should be good and dry now. As you can see it's, it's a lot of dust been laid on it. But before we start uh, cutting and buffing, because that's what we're about to do now, we're going to clean it up first because we don't want to start sanding on it with all this debris and limbs don't fell on it. So once I clean it up, we'll pull it inside and get started. I think I wiped it down good enough to show you the results. I still gotta get into the cracks, like the jams. But I just wanted to wipe the exterior part. Then I might find some more spots that I might gotta go over once I wash it. But everything looking good so far. Take it to the other side. Still got to wax it also, but I'm going to let the owner do the waxing once he get it back.
I guess tomorrow I'll start putting everything back on, such as the tail lights, the tag, and third brake light, all the glass, the handles, the mirrors, the window sweeps, the wiper cow. I had fiberglass that antenna, front bumper, grill, headlights. Pretty much everything. Y'all stay tuned for that video and the final reveal. I got the gas yeah, cap here yeah. and got kind of dusted though, but that's it. Y'all get in the comment section, tell me what y'all think. Just finished up with the cutting buff and it's time to put everything back together on the old OBS like all the glass the door handles tail lights tag third brake light the whole front end the mirrors headlights Pretty much everything. Also the wiper car, I had fiberglassed it. I got it in the house, but some of the stuff I got in here. I'm like the mirrors and stuff. The weather stripping. But I'm gonna get everything in order right quick and then I'll cut you back on, then we'll get started. Alright. I think I got everything situated. I'm trying to get it in order. I've been wiping down the jams, getting that sand and paste, not sand and paste, but the compound out the jams. Got some new mold in here for the doors. I still gotta wipe this side down. Let me show you how it looked before I had wiped the other side. See all this compound? I'm just wiping it down with some with a wet rag it'll come right up but I got most of the pieces I gotta install back on it in the bed we got a new third brake light I'll be installing these the headlights here door vents yeah look like he needs more but you don't have none at the time so I install those back on got a Chevy sand we're gonna put on the grill there got to put the mirrors back together and got some more stuff out here he had all this stuff here already taken off. He got it labeled for me so I can easily find what boats to go to what. Say front bumper boats. And I gotta clean the glass. I got this steel wood here. It's zero, 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 zero. It's the fine. You don't wanna use nothing like this here. Of course, it's number three. You wanna use some fine. The wiper cow. I gotta go get the wiper cow antenna. Turn signal. Corner lights. The grill valence. Headlights. Small. 
bumpers and stuff in here. Let me finish wiping down the jams. And then we'll get started putting everything back on. I can paint this flat black. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can paint this flat black. It look like this one here cracked though. I might have another one. I'm not sure. Or well, I can give him mass off my OBS. Because I can easily find one from the yard. Alright, let me finish wiping down. I think I got it done now. I just went back over it with some polish, making sure I got all the dual layers. Now I just gotta wipe it down. I'm thinking about putting a ceramic coating on it before we come pick it up. A little cheap ceramic coating. Once I wipe it down, but I can walk you around and show you what all I done did tail lights third brake light all the moldings put back on mirrors antenna the whole front Y'all stay tuned for the final reveal. If I don't ceramic coat once I wash it up. Let me show you this Chevrolet sign. Yo, tell me what y'all think. Back on the 1997 OBS Chevy Silverado extended cab. If you can recall, my last video, we was putting everything back on after the cutting buff. The uh, fiberglass Weber cow got that installed, mirrors, all the trim, molding, door handles. I'm still waiting on one piece of the puzzle. That's the tag light. Should come in today. It's the LED tag light. I still got to put the tail lights in. But after that, it's pretty much done. 
But while I'm waiting, we're going to ceramic coat it. And we're going to be using the cheapest ceramic coat on Amazon. It's the Mr. Fix. It's about $9, $10 at the most. You can get ceramic coating from anywhere from $9 all the way up to hundreds of dollars. I got another box here. I think this here was like $20. It's 50 milliliters. This 30. But 30 will be enough to do a whole vehicle. But uh, first step is wiping everything down because you want to remove all the wax and polish. And I had already cut and buffed it, so I got some polish on the problem. So we're going to remove it. I call this panel prep. It's just alcohol and water mixed together. And we're going to get a fresh microfiber cloth and wipe everything down. So let's do that first. Make sure you wipe it down good. Use a light. Make sure you got all the areas because you don't want it to harden up. Then you have to polish it off. It's hard to get off once it harden up. Now you can pull it out in the sun for a couple of hours to somewhat cure it. But you don't want you don't want to put no water on it at least three days. You want it to get fully hardened. But I'm just gonna let it sit out here. Cause I'm still waiting on that tag light. Then also, I gotta put the turn signals in. I got the nuts for it, I just ain't put them in yet.
guy just about to pull up. Well, he done pulled up. Finna pick up his OBS. Finna get his reaction. Came down here from Kentucky. What's going on, Jesse? What up, How's it going? How you doing? Man? All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on now? All right. Homie D right here. D. Yeah. Okay. We did a loop this time. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I thought that was y'all. I was like, yeah, but man. then y'all went all the way around. What's going on? Right here. What's going on, Jesse? Man, that looks good. Man, it does. Yeah, I brought some other wheels with me too. If you got Jay, we can swap them out. Oh, you got some? Yeah, yeah, I got some. Man. Oh, you going on, man? Yeah, well, walk up. Yeah, I see you on the video. Yeah, I can go get yeah, the jack. Good too, didn't it? Yeah. That light, that light fit in there pretty good. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it's LED too. That's crazy how smooth it is, man. Yeah, it got like a little stress crack right there. That's on just both from sides. The rock or pan or the yeah, that's just where I guess where the filler built up so thick. It's hot as a motherfucker out today too, ain't it? Oh yeah. Man, you killed it, man. It was good. It's so crazy not seeing it with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took it to the gas station last night and got some footage. I wish, I was telling them, I wish I would have uh, had the interior looking a little better. Uh oh. Yeah, it's all right. Man, I'm a uh -huh. I see yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, I don't appreciate know, put that. that. I ain't no problem. But that's what I was talking about your bump. But you can't really tell though with that bracket. That bracket was a uh, bent, but That's you can't nice. you that can't really tell. Yeah. yeah, cause this is the side where it yeah. was missing that bracket, huh? Yeah, but you can't really tell though, unless. Uh, my homie does paint body too. He's like, oh, I he gotta did. come meet him. I was like, well, come on, okay. let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Like that. He from your same hometown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you how to crank it. That's crazy. That's crazy how how the nissan uh, messed up. Uh, the day I brought yeah. it. Yeah. So if I do decide to run uh, AC, will that affect it? Or it just won't well, blow as cold? Like when I swap it? I really don't know to be honest with you. But I, people be in my comment section saying it ain't going to blow right with it. But you can always get another one though. It's a nice touch, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, I figured that antenna was going to match that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Man, that yeah. looked good. I just can't believe how different it looks. <laughs> it really looks like the same yeah. truck. Yeah. It run good though, cause I, I drove it. That's what I'm saying. Last night. I taught you, I was, like, I was so surprised that it don't start with the key no more. Yeah, but I still had a crank though.